Hey there, Julian from MemberStack here, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can make an AI image generator using no code. And this is probably gonna be a part of some bigger business that you are doing, and yours is gonna be more advanced, a little bit cooler than this, but this is gonna show you how you can do everything that you need to do. So anyways, first things first, let's take a look at how it looks. Here we have this form, and I've already written some prompt in there, and I'm gonna click generate image. So now you can see that this little thing is loading and now we just sit back and wait. It doesn't really take too long, but you know, it takes some time. So let's just wait. So there we go. As you can see here, we have an image that is uh, absolutely beautiful. And we have a little message as well saying here is your image. So now let's take a look at how we make that happen. And what we have are a couple things. One, we have Webflow, of course. Two, we have Make. And three, we have open AI. So let's first head into Webflow and see what we've got. So here we are on this page. And what we have is a form, as you can see, with an input. And these all have some sort of identifier. So maybe an ID, maybe a class. I'll show you that right now. So first things first, we have this form. And in the settings, we have the ID set to image form. Just like that, the cases are important. Then we have our input here and the ID is set to prompt. So that is all we need for that. And then finally for the form, you're gonna to wanna to just put a little hashtag in here and set the method to get so that it doesn't try to submit it as a Webflow form. And that is it for your form. Then what we've got are two other things. We can see here, AI underscore success. This is the class that I gave it, set to none. Obviously we style it in block. All right, it flex, we style it in block and then set it to none before we publish. Then same thing, we have this AI underscore image wrap. So let's set that to flex and see what we have. Within there, we have this image with some placeholder set and we have an ID set to that AI pick. Then we also have this loader and this has the class AI underscore loader just to see, set that to flex. This can be absolutely anything that you want, but this is what's gonna be shown while it is loading, while it's generating. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is set the loader to none and set the image wrap to none while you publish. So there we go, everything is good here in Webflow. We're gonna get back to Webflow in the custom code section in a bit, but first let's go over here and take a look at Make. So what we've done is created a new scenario and the first step is custom webhooks. This is the trigger. All you need to do is search for it, find custom webhook, click add, and then one thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do is click show advanced settings and set get request headers to yes. So that is the first step. And then we have this thing here that says tools. And what we're doing here is getting the site that it was submitted on. And the reason we're doing this is because if you don't, then anyone can actually use your webhook and have images generated from your OpenAI account, which costs you money. So this is getting that origin. And then as we can see here, we're checking to see if that is equal to this, which is our site. So it can only be submitted from our site. Then the next thing that we have is OpenAI here, and you are going to need to have a OpenAI account and you're gonna need your own um, API keys. So make sure you create the connection, click add, it's gonna ask you for your API keys, and then you can select a couple of different things. Here we have DALI 3 selected, which is the better one. I tried DALI 2 and it was kind of funny looking cartoons. Then we're getting the prompt from the form submission and I have it set to size 1024 by 1024, quality standard, style vivid, and response format is URL. So this means it's not gonna send us the photo data, it's actually gonna send us the URL, which makes this a lot easier. Then we have a webhook response. Status is 200 and the body is just this data URL as you can see right there. So that is it, once you have that, you can save it and you can hit run to test it. So basically, right now, what we've got is everything set up in Webflow and we have our logic here in Make, which is great, but right now it'll just do absolutely nothing. That is where this custom code comes in and you're gonna be able to copy this. So as you can see here, if I go to the settings on this page, we have this code and you're gonna to need to paste this in and you won't really need to change all that much, but I will explain to you now what you're gonna to need to change. So first things first, we're getting the ID of the form. 
which is image form. So if you use a different ID for your form, you're gonna to need to change that to the ID. Same thing here, this prompt. Then we have these three lines right here. So there's more of these later on. And basically what's happening here is we're saying when the form is submitted, do these things. Get AI loader and set it to display flex, so it's visible. Get the form component, so this thing right here, and set it to display none. Get the image wrap and set it to display flex. So basically the form is gonna go away and that image wrap is gonna show up. Then down here, what we have is once, first of all, um, that AI pick, that ID that I'm using, if you're using a different ID, you're gonna need to change this. And then what we're doing is once the image is here and once it loads, we are setting the loader to display none and we're setting the success message there to display block. So that is it. That's all you need to do. That's all you're gonna need to change. Obviously hit save and then publish. So once you have that, you are good to go. You now have a working AI image generator on your site. What are you gonna do with it? I don't know, that is up to you and that is where the fun starts. So I hope this helped and I will see you in the next video.